This, my friends, is Mac Arena today, sponsor and a new team-based 5v5 robot shooter for your Android and iOS devices. Perfect balance of casual pickup and play fun paired with skill-based competitive play. Use my QR code here on screen or the links down below to download and play the game for free now and kickstart your play with this startup pack right here worth $45 on top. In today's video, I want to show you two entirely different playstyles. One long range suppressor or sniper, if you will, and then one close range brawler. And the brawler is the kill shot robot with a new arc torrent weapon that so many of you guys have told me to get and try. So here we're doing just that. The kill shot is a fast robot that has a ramming ability with high DPS on these arc torrents that can even chain over to nearby enemies and double their damage, basically. And also with the speed, you can capture beacons very effectively and take down so many robots. And and uh, yeah, I really like the kill shot. It's a universal solution between capturing and killing at the same time. But eventually, taking so many risks, I do get destroyed and I jump into my other robot, the Redox. Not with a rocket mortar, this time with a dual stasis beam, maximum freezing, maximum range and the caustic blast ability for whenever somebody gets below 30 meters close to me. Uh, with corrosion, they take damage and get slowed. So this is really my sniper and a robot I really enjoy playing a lot because it deals a lot of damage, it freezes and slows the enemy from far range and it just is a lot of fun to play. You can have direct impact on any one on the battlefield and uh, yeah this is cool. Did you know that Mech Arena has a ton of awesome very unique robots and a huge variety of weapons? Thousands of ways to customize your robots and hundreds of skins to make them look just the way you like it. And of course so many game modes 5v5 or 2v2 deathmatch, control point capture or tournaments so it's perfect for you playing alone or with your friends along. Mech Arena has special Easter and Golden Week events coming this month and all you gotta do is take part in it to get your hands on new weapons and skins and more. So before we jump into the next fast gameplay session with a kill shot assassin, let's enjoy some sniping with a dual stasis beam on the Redox robot. I recently made a Redox video as well last month where I shown you left side uh, the um, stasis beam and on the right side uh, the rocket mortar for some trolling. Uh, but this here is also quite trollish because the range is high, uh, the freezing comes into effect really quickly with the double stasis beams, the damage output is even really good at range, and it's even still okay or, or go good at shorter range, uh, although the perfect optimum range of the weapon according to the stats is 90 meters. This is where it does the best performance apparently. Also remember when you hit somebody in the flank or from the behind, you do additional damage so you can be more effective. Here, we're hitting the enemy through the the wall with a caustic blast ability and already taking him down before we even see him because that's the other option or the other ability from the redox robot being able to have an area effect blast around it that even goes and hits through walls with an, a somewhat of a range about 31 or 30 meters around him and um and when the enemy gets get caught in that explosion or in that blast, they get a slow down and B, they will take a corrosion damage over time. And it's actually a lot of damage. It's like 600, 600, 600, 600, 600 in this, in this uh, speed. It's almost like uh, a stasis beam firing at the enemy continuously too. So it's really useful and it improves your winning chances a lot if you get this happening. All right, and you see I'm I'm near the enemy base, but I'm actually here behind cover. The enemy homing rockets don't really hit me, uh, and I can stand uh, stand clear of firepower and still eliminate enemies from left and right. Everywhere they come, here again, he fired the rockets, but I'm behind cover again. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. Also, the pilot I'm using, you remember there have been pilots now introduced to the game too. I have a pilot here um, who is exactly for the stasis beam. He improves slightly the damage output, I think 3% or so. 3-4% uh, more damage output with my stasis beam here. But also with the implants, I've made it the, re uh, the recharge uh, a little faster so I can fire for a longer time before having to reload. Here. 333,000 damage, tons of kills and lots of impact. Now back into the short range brawling assassin, my little kill shot here, uh, a little gameplay session there, fast robot able to counter uh, robots that are for example using uh, homing rockets or mortar uh, rockets um, because you can close the distance really fast, avoid and uh, dodge the firepower. Also, we have a super fast capturing robot, obviously, right? I'm running in right here, dealing some heavy damage, but uh, I, th I get destroyed, sadly, in this situation here. After, almost before I took him down, I got taken out. But that's what you do, what happens if you take a 2 on one and you get shot in your back, right? I would have probably had a chance if I had focused the guy first uh, and faced both opponents frontally. 
But it's okay, because that gives me an opportunity to, ju to jump into the, my Panther robot with the carbine assault rifles that I have on the left and right side. It's a legendary weapon, incredibly powerful and accurate in my opinion. Decent range even. You can hit pretty far, um, do deal a ton of damage before you have to reload. The reload isn't very long, so it's also a really powerful brawler. And uh, with the Panther, as you probably know, you can put down those force fields that protect you from any enemy firepower for like 8-9 seconds or so and uh, gives you time to reload or retreat or you can use it to shield your allies also right if you see an enemy uh, an enemy attacking one of your friends and you have the line of M angle there you can set up that force field line and uh, protect him and he's gonna gladly uh, take take that shield fire through it and not allow the enemy to hit him back through the force field right so it's a really, really cool way of t applying team play or just being able to be a lone wolf uh, assassin also yourself and do the things on your own. Uh, you can choose your playstyle with this one pretty well. And the uh, assault rifles, um, the reload comes off quite often, but also the firepower is pretty good, so it's a really, really strong weapon. Here we have two panthers actually crisscrossing these... Uh, these <laughs> Um, and these, these force fields, we had them both in like this. No, no matter where you stand or where you fire from as an enemy, you would never be able to hit the enemies because there's just too many of them. Here, I got hit by the homing uh, rockets there again and um, unfortunately they do quite a, quite a lot of damage. Setting up the force field here, taking down the last MD uh, repair robot coming up. He is still caught in the shields and I can easily shoot him down after I have reloaded. Boom! Lots of kills, lots of beacon grab, and a, I guess, uh, a deserved victory here, being an MVP. Not even with, not just with the first robot, but even with the second kill shot. Almost 300,000 damage, 13 kills. Boom. Back into the kill shot. Boom! The double kill! A double kill with the ramming ability of the kill shot. This is hilarious, man. I think that was the first time ever I've been able to double kill uh, or get two kills with one ability use of the kill shot. That was just insane. I didn't even know this could happen, man. And here with a short arc, short range arc torrent, also only about 30 meters range, a uh, super short range weapon. If you level it up further, you can increase the range a little bit, uh, but it will always be a short range weapon. And also, um, I, I just got this weapon for the first time. Uh, this is me making my first experiences with it. Uh, I even have no level upgrade on it whatsoever. I got the weapon and this is the basic version. You see me here seeking cover behind the teammate because <laughs> I'm low HP and I'm constantly seeking cover between the teammate so that his la la lasers do no longer hit me. That was funny and a little bit nasty to <laughs> my teammate too. But I had to kind of stay alive here. Otherwise, if you see my low HP right now, if I had taken the fire from before, I would have been down right now. So he kind of really helped me with his HP pool here, allowing me to get two or three more really important kills before calling it um, basically uh, the end for my kill shot here. Alright, so what else do we jump into? How about some panther play with the assault rifle again i've already shown you enough of the dual laser beam i think from the um from the sniper redox that i have tell me in the comments maybe what you th what you think what which would be your play style because we sh i've shown you two very different ones three actually because the panther here also has its own play style more team-based play as well uh with this force field also you have long range ab abilities but you're also incredibly dangerous at short range um it's a it's a third play style if you will but uh comparing the two uh the kill shot with the arc torrent or uh the long range dual laser beam stasis beam what, what which one would you prefer tell me in the comments i really like to hear what you think and um i believe we're coming to an end of this match right here and also of this video we've carried the match quite well so yeah this has been it this was my video for today thanks here for watching this game is completely free to play on android and ios so use my qr code here on screen or the links down below to kickstart your play with a startup pack worth 45 dollars a mil spec skin 500 a coins and 70,000 credits and then come fight me in the game under the name just the money